It was Israel's darkest hour. The armies of Rome invaded Israel and its cities were pillaged. Jerusalem was sacked and burned. The great temple of God lay in a heap of rubble. It was the end of the promised land. The people of the promise settled among the nations, adding to the art and science and culture of the places they went. The promised land, a story they told their children of a time long ago, of a dream long since ended. They were part of other nations now, but there was no place they could call home. And in each generation, there were those who rejected them, persecuted them, refused to let them live in peace. Some tried to annihilate them altogether. And so the dream was rekindled to return to the land of their fathers, to their ancient homeland, Israel. Against incredible odds, they carved new lives out of the wilderness and built a new nation on its ancient foundations. And on May 14, 1948, they gathered here in Tel Aviv's art museum as David Ben-Gurion, Israel's George Washington, declared the reborn state of Israel. In that moment, ancient prophecies were fulfilled. 2,000 years of Jewish prayers were answered, and a miracle of survival and achievement had just begun.